Hey guys, it's Squeeze here, and I will, I will be doing the uh, Q and A solo. Um, we're a day late. Uh, a couple things came up, so just a uh, little tricky to get together to get the video up. But I'm doing it now. Um, first things first. If you ordered anything through our store, Benemont.com, uh, mailings went out this morning, so you should have them in a couple days, and that does include you, Canada. For those of you who did not know we had a store, we do have a store, um, and it is SSL certified, so it is secure. It's got the little padlock in the browser, so if you do want to buy something, you feel comfortable about exchanging your credit card and everything. Um, works the same as every other browser you've been on, you know, Best Buys or Targets or any other big uh, retail store. So that's also available, and that's midnightmop.com slash shop, and you'll find stuff there. Um, all right, so, um, I'm actually doing this from my office. It's my place. Normally we do it at Carly's, and it's in the basement. Now we're doing it at my my humble abode, um, so it's a little more lit up. And uh, if you want to see more of it, because I think I'm doing my own personal Instagram now, so you can follow Mickey Squeeze if you use Instagram. And I'll start posting stuff again. I started using it yesterday. Uh, I haven't used it for three years, so I'm gonna start doing it more, but more about personal stuff. Um, now we'll do the questions. So, we'll go to Facebook, and we only have two questions. Um, the first one is Steve Cusimano from Facebook. Uh, what was the first break you got that sparked a tour? Um, I don't know if anything really sparked a tour, but the first big thing that really happened to us was we did a big battle of the bands, uh, it's called Emergenza, and they don't do it anymore, and the, the, you play, you do multiple rounds in the city against a bunch of different bands, um, I think in total we must have went up against 40 or 50 bands through the whole thing, it was a couple of months, uh, we went to the finals, we played the Webster Hall Ballroom, it was totally packed, um, we sold probably about $3,000 worth of tickets, uh, and we were only playing at that point, maybe a year and a half, um, and we came in second place, I believe, and we almost got to play a festival in Germany right out of the box of being together, which was really cool. Um, that definitely elevated us to think of, wow, we could really do something, this is really, really cool. Um, and then, I guess, a little bit further on, a couple months later, uh, we got a van, so around the second year, we a van, we got our van, and we did our first show down outside, out, out of state, and we went down to South Carolina, Spartansburg, and played a place called Ground Zero. So our first taste of uh, touring and playing shows um, outside and, and doing it was, we just went right down to South Carolina, uh, kind of jumped in the middle of it, and it was an amazing experience. We just, we didn't play, we played um, a really nice stage, played for maybe 30 people, uh, crowd was right up against the stage and everybody was really enthusiastic and then we hung out with um, one of the guys who runs the door over there, this dude named Coco. And we went back to his place and we hung out with all the bands and all these other people that came down and just, you know, love music and uh, I think from that point on we were definitely like hooked on what touring was uh, and then from then on it was just a ton of shows. Just, wherever we could play, uh, even if it was a one-off down in Georgia or something like that, we are just, we're doing it. And um, so that was probably, that. those events kind of really sparked the tour bug, I guess you could say. And I got us excited about everything. Uh, second question we had was regarding playing Stevens Talk House in Amagansett, Long Island. Um, and for those who don't know where that is, it's close to Montauk, so it's really far out east. Um, Basically, a, you know, a summer spot for, for those Long Islanders. Uh, and looked into it a little bit more, because uh, it was actually asked on uh, the last one, so last week. And we checked out the website, um, looked at more of the detail of it, and it kind of seems that they want to do more cover bands, tribute bands, or maybe more singer-songwriter stuff, or um, event-oriented things. So maybe if you had a charity event come in and, and you want to do something there, they'd be cool with that. They didn't seem to really want uh, bands doing like one set at a time or anything. So, <clears throat> you know, I don't know. Maybe they want to try something to do. If they want to try something different, we'd be down for it. Uh, their genre of music seems to be a little lighter than what we do as well. So I don't know if their crowd would even really be in 
to um, the stuff that we play. Uh, but again, if we were asked to open up for a cover band, open up for a true band, or if you want to put a couple original bands together, we'd be into it. Um, I also saw there wasn't any open mics because I just uh, we were thinking about just driving out and just playing acoustic and open mic over there and kind of feeling it out. But um, if there are open mics, just you know leave a comment in the Facebook. Uh, you know, under the video, so that's what we know, because I didn't see any in the calendar. Uh, and then, that's basically it. I mean, this is, uh, this is my first solo q and It feels a little weird, a little liberating. Um, and all those sounds you hear in the background are actually, uh, there's a tablet playing a, a movie. Um, there's some stuff getting cupped in the background too, so there's all sorts of sound effects and things kind of going on. I had to actually edit the video a little bit because the blender kept going on and off. So, um, cooking some Indian food was the new thing. Um, any questions? Uh, www.midnightmob.com has all our contact info. And if you want to book us on anything, booking at midnightmob.com. And feel free, just hit us up. And Mondays, ask more questions. Peace.